This is the last part of our review of the Gospel Topic Essay found on LDS.org. We have been discussing the unique Mormon belief that there is a mother in heaven, or even mothers in heaven. So, Elder, please read on where we left off in that essay. Latter-day Saints direct their worship to Heavenly Father, in the name of Christ, and do not pray to Heavenly Mother. But why wouldn't she be worshipped? If she did her part and... Our heavenly parents work together for the salvation of the human family. Shouldn't she receive some credit? Do Mormons not worship or pray to her because she's not worthy, or because LDS scripture doesn't say they should? Where in the Book of Mormon or the Doctrine and Covenants does it say not to pray to Heavenly Mother? The essay says, In this they follow the pattern set by Jesus Christ, who taught his disciples to always pray unto the Father in my name. Come to think of it, Jesus must have known there was a Heavenly Mother. If she really existed, why is she never mentioned by Him? Latter-day Saints are taught to pray to Heavenly Father, but as President Gordon B. Hinckley said, the fact that we do not pray to our Mother in Heaven in no way belittles or degrades her. Indeed, as Elder Rudder Clausen wrote, we honor women when we acknowledge Godhood in her eternal prototype. She's called a prototype. How flattering. As with many other truths of the gospel, our present knowledge about a mother in heaven is limited. If there really is a mother in heaven and the regular LDS member's knowledge is limited, shouldn't the church prophet, with his ability to receive revelation, provide more details about this mysterious lady? This short essay really doesn't do her justice, if she even does exist. Nevertheless, we have been given sufficient knowledge to appreciate the sacredness of this doctrine and comprehend the divine pattern established for us as children of heavenly parents. Latter-day Saints believe that this pattern is reflected in Paul's statement that neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man, in the Lord. Men and women cannot be exalted without each other. Just as we have a father in heaven, we have a mother in heaven. As Elder Dallin H. Oaks of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles has said, Our theology begins with heavenly parents. Our highest aspiration is to be like them. If LDS theology begins with heavenly parents, then it seems more emphasis ought to be given to the other half of the couple, Heavenly Mother. Elders, thanks for reading that essay with me. I just want you to know that when it comes to Christianity, the only real practice or belief that ties Christianity into the LDS view of a mother in heaven comes either from paganism and or the origin of Mary worship. Both of these have ties to the notion of a queen in heaven, which is mentioned in the Old Testament. Elder, would you read Jeremiah 7, 17 through 18? See us now not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods that they may provoke me to anger. Here, God warned the Jews who had rebelled against him by honoring the Queen of Heaven. In my estimation, all of this Mother in Heaven and Queen of Heaven talk is just another means to get people to take their eyes off the one true and living God. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Hated it? Give us a thumbs down. Help support us by subscribing to this channel. Don't forget to check out the description below to learn more. Thanks for watching Talking to Mormons.